my turn on the radio. Let's just breathe through it, shall we? So, so dang cute. I, I really, I'm gonna bite him, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> anyway, so back to the talk, um, and not about biting Luke. Um, oh yes, I was talking about, this is funny, that was Christopher calling, that's why we got dropped off of the video, but he was like, uh, he just got home from school and now that he's driving, and, and I was at Costco's, he was like, excuse me, where is the mother? <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever heard? Anyway, so we were talking to Nikki about how long it takes to eat salad. Another thing about how long it takes to eat salad. Y'all, when you're having your salads at night, you want to remember to get full. But again, when you're having your little bit of fat, your adequate amount every day, it's gonna help you feel satiated without having to feel like you have to eat nine bowls of salad. You see what I mean? Have hard veggies on there, work your way up, okay? And have that with something else if you want, you know? And might I suggest if you're still eating cooked and you're trying to eat um, plants, you know, and you try to eat more raw plants, but you're still wanting, wanting some cooked, what about some baked sweet potato like mashed on top of a salad with one of my sweet sauces or dressings drizzled on top? That's a meal right there, okay? So, um, she was also saying, oh yes, tips for not turning to comfort food when you're stressed. First of all, when you use food to calm you down for any reason, it's not good because your body is already, when you're stressed out or upset, this is a time not to eat. It's not good for your digestion. You know, it creates acidosis in the system. That's not what we want. So start being mindful. Like little things, everybody's different, but I have some, um, lots of videos on this. I'll try to, to link some below this. Um, and which I did on the other video the other day when I said I was going to link and I did that. But anyway, um, remembering to breathe in the moment, you know, because think about this. When you're fixing to binge or even if you're not going to binge, you're going to put something in your face that was not on your plan that when you said on Monday morning, my God, I'm doing it this week, and now it's Wednesday, and it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you've had a stressful day, and somehow what you planned that you knew was your optimum thing has somehow, poof, left your mind, and you want to have donuts, or you want to have um, a, a three bags of corn pasta. I'm not saying that's the worst thing you can eat, but guess what? You said you weren't doing that, or fill in the blank. You want to have whatever it is you said you weren't going to do for whatever reason it wasn't working for you. You see what I mean? So, um, anyway, remembering that if you have a plan, first of all, it helps you stay on track, okay? There's no thinking to it. Are you going to do your plan or are you not? Putting things down when you're fixing to binge on or eat whatever it is you're not intending to, write that down in your journal, bring it to judgment, so that if you do choose to eat the blank on that, enjoy it in the moment you're having it, and then feel like crap afterwards, but own it right there, and put, I, I'm eating this, I'm mad, and I put that down, so that the next day, when you remember, you look back and think, oh, well, life was just happening. Life happens every dang day, you know? Another thing about going to foods like that is sometimes we just want more of a dense food to kind of, maybe you're not even upset, but in the evening you have that such zingy feeling from high raw all the time and from, you know, you're having a more sensory experience in this world than other people that are doped down by doping you down food or pharmaceutical dope or street dope, whatever it is, whatever is numbing you down. When you're not numbed down, you're a more sensory creature and sometimes the, the senses can get to you, right? So, have things to put in place. If you are fixing to have a haagen attack or you're fixing to have to have a 
in the day, I wouldn't just have one Krispy Kreme donut. That wasn't going to get it. I would, honest to God, eat two dozen donuts until I had to vomit. That's a problem. You know, that, that's not going to work for you. That, that's abuse. You're abusing yourself. So when you think, I've got to have something sweet, okay, bam. What is your plan that you're going to plug into that? Did you see my video the other day called um, uh, caramel sauce or something like that? I was dipping apples in it. Coconut caramel sauce. I have several of those. I also have some um, strawberry delight treats on my channel. I have um, a plum, a sweet plum sauce that's for an ice cream. Obviously, you can have ice cream if you've got a chocolate attack put you some cacao in there um, if you can if you can eat that I don't tolerate it that well anymore it gives me the, the kind of the jerks or like I've been caffeinated or something so but anyway what is it you're going to do to fill in the blank of that do you want something hot do you want something hearty do you frankly just want to feel like you're stuffed and you want to lay back and watch Desperate Housewives, whatever you're watching, whatever, I don't have a TV, so whatever people watch, you know, so have a large hearty soup that's still raw, you see what I mean, fill in the blank, is, is it something like, are you wanting coffee and you're trying to get off that, so start having hot teas, um, it, it's a filling in the blank, so that the, over time, you start developing developing a pattern where the new things that you've plugged in, let's just say the caramel sauce, it tastes like craft caramels melted. That that's your new go-to. That that's your new comfort food. And guess what? It does comfort you, and it's gonna it's gonna leave you with a good feeling afterwards. It's not gonna turn around and bite you in the bone, you know. So anyway, developing a pattern for yourself. What about other little tricks you could do too, like breathing? A lot of times, binges, you are, when you binge on food, you're only 15 minutes from this side to the other side of you thinking that you suck again. I have a video called The Cheat, and why I eventually quit cheating myself. You're only 15 minutes on, on the side of you staying on your plan, doing good, getting results, to the other side of you thinking you suck and be ha having to begin again tomorrow. It's 15 minutes um, that's going to lead you possibly down a bad, bad back alleyway. Do you know what I mean? The kind of one where, okay, well, I've eaten this and it was only 3 o'clock in the afternoon and now the rest of the day is just a free-for-all. The rest of the day, it doesn't count. I'm going to look away and think about it another day. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not cheating myself. So stop cheating yourself. Start plugging in some of these things. So you could be, you could be breathing. You could take a few minutes to breathe. Go brush your teeth. Look in the mirror and remember that you love yourself enough to do different today, not tomorrow. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. And that's today, and it's getting away, right? What about uh, what about something like mala beads? Do you know what those are? They're like a long chain of beads, or um, little things you can do. A lot of times, you you will. I have a habit of kind of doing this right here, and sometimes it's a stress reliever for me. I've noticed. Um, but sometimes I I will twirl my hair, and I will think about each twirl will be like something, it's almost like a gratitude twirl. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a gratitude twist. But you can have those beads and you can just, in, instead of going to the comfort food, instead of you falling off your plan, go around the beads and feel each bead. And as you do, say something that you're thankful for, whether maybe you think you have nothing. Think again. You've got the breath you're breathing this very minute right I mean you have the opportunity of today using those kind of techniques what about um I have this little thing it's it's a little pendant um, mr. Scott got it for me and it's it's you open it up and you can drip in essential oils and it's long enough that you can pull it up and smell it 
and it smells good and it smells calming and I have one that's like um, chin up buttercup and it's like an uplifting one and there's another one that's lavender and it's for calming and there's another one, several smells and you can change that out and there's like a little pad that goes in there anyway I got that at Garner's Natural Foods <clears throat> Scott did in town and um, I really really enjoy that I enjoy having those in my purse and maybe just putting a little drip on my wrist and smelling that using different senses other than your belly to comfort you you know what I mean what about just taking a moment to look like like looking out at nature or looking in the eyes of your baby boy that's six three or looking at your animals or just looking at your hands and realizing that you have the choices today I love hands I love fingers and I love to see um, elderly people's hands and they're so worn and weathered and it's a weather of of their life you know the point is there's other ways to comfort yourself besides comfort food and if you do want to just fill up your belly until your body has to just like it can't even think because it has to use all its vital force to go to digestion then have a large soup. You see what I mean? Have a big smoothie. Have a lot of volume of food. Relax and breathe. Do you see what I mean? So um, I just wanted to say that. And let's see what else. So that was for you, Nikki. Oh, yes. Uh, chocolate vegan. Hey, man. He uh, comments on my videos occasionally. And he was asking me, was I married or single or dating or, or what? And um. I was married for, for over 20 years, and then I was left, and now I'm a single girl in the giant world. But the thing is, when I read that, I thought, isn't that funny, because um, I don't like to label myself. I don't like to say I'm single, or I'm dating, or I'm with this person, or I'm, I'm divorced, or I'm married, or I'm, no, I'm undefinable. You know what I mean? I wrote something down about this. It's like who are you when somebody asks you to describe yourself do you say I used to think I was my ex-husband's wife that's what I was and I was Carly and Christopher's mom that's what I was I wasn't a me I wasn't you can be all those things and most of all be you and that's what makes it beautiful you know um, it's like we have unlimited potential do you know what I'm saying I'm a love and light not to be caged, not to be boxed, and not to be owned ever again. Do you know what I mean? Free to dance, free to fly, butterfly. So anyway, don't be defined today. The only thing that can define you, define you, is is the wonderful that that you're letting yourself turn into. You know, the new you, the better you the best version of you, whatever that is you want to be. So stop using these excuses as crutches. Start getting on with a plan and making it happen. See you later, alligators.